What's up guys, welcome back to another workhorse video. This is the hype stock right now. Wall Street isn't in it, but hey, Main Street loves this stock and I love it too. I feel like workhorse will be having a ton of potential. There's a lot of different catalysts coming up. I will be going through why workhorse is definitely more than just a show horse and it actually is a workhorse. Jim Cramer personally doesn't really like workhorse. He'll much rather buy plug power, but in my opinion, workhorse has a lot of potential and a lot of people just aren't really buying in, especially that it's already experienced a 50% decline from the top and bottom. I feel like you should definitely go into workhorse, at least dip your toes in it, because so far the stock is only hovering at $19. It's right now struggling to hit $20, it was rejected from $20 several times in the course of a few days. And today it's a little bit red, not the best, but not really that bad either. And before we dive any deeper, definitely check out the free Discord server of more than 16,000 members. Link in the description below. It's towards the bottom. It's actually one of the biggest financial stock option discords on the Discord platform. Best of all, it's completely free. And then we also have a free Weeble sign up link below. Click on it, make a Weeble brokerage account, deposit $100 and get two free stocks. It's literally free money. They're giving you two free stocks just by putting in $100. I mean, a $100 investment, hey, that's better than doing options. And so far, Workhorse, it's at 16. Let's see what's going on. So one of my biggest things about Workhorse that people just aren't calculating in is UPS and FedEx stock. Now, you may be scratching your heads, why are we talking about a two separate companies? Well, UPS and FedEx have one thing in common, their logistics, but their logistics services are mostly in smaller neighborhoods, like delivering packages, and they usually unload the overall packages from a truck and then upload it to a smaller vehicle, which are vehicles that look like this, and you probably have seen these UPS FedEx vans in your neighborhood driving around delivering packages in front of your doors, stuff like that. You're not gonna be seeing a giant semi truck delivering packages. That's just stupid. And I'm pretty sure semi trucks can't even fit in small neighborhoods. So this is why UPS and FedEx are up for grabs. And in the past years, they've never really been good companies. In fact, they've been companies that a lot of people seem to avoid, but recently it automatically spiked from $100 to $267 for FedEx. UPS, same thing, it has never really done well. It's always been super stable. I feel like people just buy it in for like the dividends. I mean, logistics wasn't going away, but no one was really buying. It was an industry that no one cared about. So it went from $94 to $165. So far, UPS, FedEx, the reason why it went up is because e-commerce sales absolutely explode up. Shipments on e-commerce surged. U.S. e-commerce shipments in June 2020 were 30% higher compared to June 2019. And guess what? This trend will most likely not go away. In fact, Amazon had experienced such a big surge. And even right now, if you check out Amazon, New Egg, Walmart, Best Buy, their online department, even Target, they've been saying that there is no slowdown in the e-commerce sector. Even though a lot of stores and restaurants are already open, people still opt in to buy things from major online companies. And the thing is, commercial real estate right now, if you check out their stock, is absolutely garbage. It's going down and there's a reason why, because everyone is shopping in e-commerce. I think once people get so used to shopping online over the course of the pandemic, people don't really wanna change back. I can tell you personally, I don't think I've been to the mall for a while. I think the only time I've been to the mall was to pick up my iPhone. The last time I bought a shirt from the mall was like, a year and a half ago, I've been ordering clothing lines and also clothes, pants, shoes from online. Like I haven't been in a mall in such a long time and it's just so much easier doing it online. It saves time, it's also cheaper, it saves money, and I love it. And so far, Workhorse, since they are a company that makes last mile delivery vehicles, and guess what, these guys are the only guys making fully electric, pretty sure UPS and FedEx, since they're grown so fast, and also e-commerce going so fast, I feel like Workhorse should be getting some really crazy incoming orders, or else they wouldn't be partnering up with Hitachi, a Japanese company, which will help Workhorse clients for financing, also help Workhorse scale up in production. On top of that, we recently got Workhorse landing a pretty major order of 500C1000 trucks, which are these bigger trucks, and this is from Cincinnati. It's pretty awesome. And this is from Pichard Companies, 
and these guys got 500 vehicles and this is what workhorse needs some liquidity some cash and 500 vehicles should keep workhorse nice and busy 2021 the ceo said that he wants to be producing roughly 100 to 200 cars per month which is pretty good and should fulfill this 500 vehicle order within less than five months and so far if you check out the usps contract the whole reason why workhorse went down isn't because there was some defect in the cars it wasn't because the company wasn't on par or good it wasn't because there was something fraudulent it was simply because there was no news about the usps contract now keep in mind we're kind of in the dark right now we don't know if workhorse will get it but united states postal service said that there is a major delay in determining this six to eight point one billion dollar deal let's just see who gets it there's currently three competitors going for this deal and one of them is workhorse the other two one of them is a hybrid and the other one's gasoline i'm pretty sure usps would not pick a gasoline vehicle now they might pick hybrid but keep in mind joe biden is going to be our president and he really likes renewable energy and since the united states postal service is government owned well with a biden presidency we could be seeing them shifting heavily to an ev sector than more of a hybrid or gasoline sector. We could be seeing them picking the hybrid company because they have a better production rate, but hey, who knows? Maybe Workhorse could be getting some really nice deals. And because there's such a big push for electric vehicles lately, we could be seeing the USPS being pressured to order trucks from Workhorse. Everyone is saying Workhorse is most likely the car company to get the deal, but that's not a guarantee. Nothing is a guarantee in the stock world, but I'm really, really certain that it will be. And guess what? If Workhorse gets the overall stock, it will jump from around $18, $19, $20 to $100. And here's why. After they get the deal, something big's going to happen. The amount of people shorting the stock is absolutely insane. In fact, the people that short the stock actually went up a full percentage, and now it's at 20%. There's another 4 to 5 million shares being shorted at this moment. And totally, there's about a fifth of the shares of Workhorse being shorted. What does it mean to short a stock? Well, you're essentially borrowing shares from someone else and selling it on their behalf, but you have an obligation to buy back on a certain date. And preferably, you wanna buy back at a lower price. So essentially speaking, long story short, you're a massive bear. And the thing is, you have to sell the stock, which workhorse stock was absolutely being shorted hard. This is why the stock plummeted because so many people are shorting it and selling it. But the thing is, they have to buy it back to close it. So if they announce the USPS deal to Workhorse, so many retail traders and hedge funds and big banks will buy into Workhorse. Stock could easily go up 200% to maybe 45, 50, even $60. And then the shorts will come in. The amount of people shorting the stock will have to close their position or they lose even more money, thus leading to a short squeeze. Because when you try to close it, essentially are buying back the stock. When you buy, this, buy, buy back the stock to close it, it will shoot the stock price up. Thus, with the fifth of the shares being shorted, Workhorse stock could easily hit possibly 70, 80, even $100. On top of that, hedge funds and big banks currently do not have money in Workhorse. The most I can think of is probably ARK Invest, and they don't even have that much in it. But if they get the USPS deal, we could be seeing some pretty crazy price targets. And then afterwards, and we see some nice and consistent orders from UPS, FedEx, or other smaller logistics companies, maybe like a few hundred vehicle order contracts every few weeks. Well, we could be seeing like JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, Deutsche Bank, giving it massive price targets and even buying in themselves because this could be the next logistics Tesla. Who knows? We should definitely wait. But keep in mind, seriously, the market cap is only $2.39 billion. It's an extremely small company for the amount of stuff they do. And they do a lot of stuff. Thanks for watching, guys, and comment below.